Ahoy there, Captain Steve, coming to you from the bucket list. It's Saturday. Well, the winds died down. It was pretty windy. We went to the sock burning party today. They had pizza and somebody brought ceviche and a few other, you know, they had cookies and uh, some sort of like a buffalo chicken dip, but it was pretty nice. Karen and I burned our socks and Jack, he was there, but he failed to participate. I guess he liked his socks too much. I don't know. But uh, now we're down here. We got the horns on. I'm going to have Jack hit the button so you can hear him. That's the new horns. Nice and loud. I wanted them nice and loud. I wanted loud enough to wake the dead. So that way any of these knuckleheads running around here, we hit that horn when we go to leave or enter a channel. I make sure they hear us and they know we're coming. So, yeah, but the horns are up. Here we they replaced them, they put them where the old ones were, so whoever installed the old ones, or the, the, one, the original ones, they uh, set them so that way one was higher than the other, so that way the one horn, the sound carries farther because it's up higher up in the air, higher up, so it projects out. But it's not too bad today, the tide looks like it it's coming back in it was pretty low but as far as the day it's turning it's it's turning nice it's about uh two o'clock or actually it's probably about four o'clock now but it turned out to be a pretty nice day i got my the new flag poles the new teak flag poles i put the the flag holders screwed the flag holders into them. We got the American flag and our other flag, our bucket list flag that I had made, put onto it. So that's sitting inside the inside the boat until I get to a point where it's not windy like this, and we're going to be down here for a while. And I'll put them out. Our wind indicator flags inside the boat. I haven't put that out yet because we're only down here tonight. It's Saturday, so we're down here tonight yet, and then we're heading back. So. But now everybody's having a good time. We're, uh, I know we've been contemplating either buying a house in Florida or the Bahamas, but we came up with a, a solution, which I think Kara and I are both happy with. Hopefully in the next year, maybe two, we're looking to take the boat and head to Florida down on the Gulf side and live aboard the boat in a marina in Florida. Give us time to look around a couple areas of Florida, find areas that we like, you know, see what houses are available. And also we give us the option where we're closer to take trips to, bah to the Bahamas more often. Visit different islands and travel around and see which islands we like more than others and what areas we like. So. And look at houses they have there so yeah i think we've uh, solidified our plans as far as we're not looking to buy a house at the moment we're going to plan on once we get a few things uh some bills out of the way and taken care of we're going to take the boat and travel down the coast of florida and live on board the boat in a marina and like i said pick fight look trip check different areas out to see which ones we like and and then go from there and when we're ready then uh, look into selling our house to use that money to buy something either in the Bahamas or Florida but uh, keep motor and sales up keep driving that bucket list share subscribe comment like and uh, holler if you have any questions thanks